Hey, what's going on guys? So today, like Scott didn't ask us and I hope he's totally cool with this, but we wanted to share with you guys how to overcome the excuse when the excuse isn't the excuse. <laughs> so let us explain. So do we want to start with Success Club, how we locked in 10 last month? Yeah. Or do you want, okay, let's start with, okay, so we'll start with the other one. So we won't, we'll give you two examples. So today, um, we've been, I've been talking back and forth with somebody for actually quite a while. And more recently, I've, I've invited him to coach or to at least take a look at the opportunity. So shot him a video, he's checked it out. He's actually done Insanity back in the day. So he knows a little bit about Beachbody. He, he went on the Beachbody website, checked it all out, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we had a, a phone call set up at 7 p.m. tonight. It was gonna be the second phone call. Mm -hmm. And about uh, two hours before 7 p.m., he sent me a text and it was a little bit long. He said, hey, hey man, thanks a lot. I'm really excited. I want to get started eventually, however, um, things have picked up at my job unexpectedly and I'm going to be really busy for a little while. And I was like, okay, so I think he was expecting, I think most coaches would have just said, hey, totally cool, right? Yeah. Not, not a problem. Hey, when you're ready, just let us know and we'll, we'll, get you, we'll get you set up. But instead, I wrote back to him and we said something along the lines of, hey, I love what you said, totally get that. Not a problem. Hey, let's still jump on the phone at seven. How does that sound? And he's like, okay, cool. Let's, let's do that. So we jumped on and here's where the excuse isn't always the excuse. So his excuse in his text message said something about, I don't have enough time. As we were starting to talk with him, you know, we, we did a little bit of chit chat in the beginning and then we got, got down to business, right? Um, where we said something along the lines like, Hey, what, so what's, so what's going on? Tell me a little bit about like what's going on with work. So he said, oh, work's picked up a little bit. Um, what else was he saying? Like work's picked up. He's it's taking work home with him. Yeah, t yeah, taking home, uh, blah, blah, taking work home with him and stuff like that. And eventually what he said was. That he really wants to be able to commit 100% to, to coaching to coaching and he felt like he couldn't give 100 percent. So, so oh, go ahead. sorry no go ahead i was just gonna say so his excuse through text message was i'm too busy to his new excuse or objection is um perfectionism like i'm a, I'm a perfectionist so we helped him overcome being a perfectionist and uh, he's supposed to be signing up tonight but we didn't just accept hey i'm too busy and just said, hey, when you're ready, let us know. Instead, we still jumped on the phone, talked with him, chatted with him a little bit, overcame that objection, learned what the new objection actually really was deep inside. And it's the fact that he's a perfectionist and thinks he needs to devote 100% of his time to coaching or the beach body or in general. So um, we were able to overcome that by just letting him know it's not all about being perfect or being able to put 100% into the coaching business or maybe get it's better to get started now with the Beachbody program to fall in love with the process and then eventually coach. If, you know, it's got to, you've got your goals, your values, you have to believe in the Beachbody product, you have to believe in Shakeology, the Beachbody performance and all that kind of stuff in order to even become a coach and, and build the business anyways because if you don't believe in Beachbody, then why would you be a coach, right? We all know that. Yes. So that was number one. Yes. So now the second example. So number two is actually from um, last month and we hit Success Club 10. This, so is, this is how it locks. Yes. 10. Yep. So one of the girls, um, do you want to? So one of the girls in our group. So, <laughs> so we have a girl in our group who used to be a coach. She's jumped from company to company to company to company and um she made her way back to Beachbody because that's where everybody comes back to it seems like right yep um so she made her way back to Beachbody and um jumped in our group and was a part of our group for a while and actually added like two two other people I think yes. to our group she said hey is it cool if we add these two people to your group which is totally cool we like it yeah absolutely if it'll help them out and help you out for sure so come to find out this person was never even signed up underneath that coach. She wasn't, um, she wasn't a customer. She wasn't a coach. She wasn't literally not even in the system. No. Yeah. So and, she, and, and well, she had been in our group for like three, four, three, three or four, four months. months 
Um, and she would show up every day consistently. She would post about her eating. She would post about how her yep. day's going, her struggles, her challenges. So she was consistently posting every single day. But but and, we have to understand we didn't know she wasn't even a customer in underneath this other coach. And of course, the way we are and how everybody should be is we don't step on other coaches' toes. Like we just assume because she got added to our group through the other coach that she was the other coach's customer. Correct. Right? Yes. So come to find out anyways, fast forward a little bit. This coach ended up quitting again. Um, and so as soon as we found out, we were like instant, boom, shot, shot the new girl or the other girl, not the new girl, but yeah. the girl that's been in our group a message. Hey, just wanted to find out what some of your goals are. Um, I know so-and-so quit and we wanted to let you know that you're more than welcome to be a part of our group and we'll help you in any way we can, just like we have been. And eventually set up a video chat and 20 minutes later after the video chat, we got off having a great conversation, learned that she was never even a customer, learned that she wasn't even utilizing any of, she wasn't even Beachbody On Demand. It was just like older programs that she's had. Mm -hmm. Never, this, I don't think she ever had Shakeology or, or maybe she did, but it was years ago. Um, so anyways, come to find out, she didn't have all that, and we locked in Success Club 10 with um, the 80 Day Obsession Challenge Pack. So, like, it's always, like, all these different things that happen, like, when you're showing up every day, um, like, people come out of the woodworks, or people will quit, and then you can help somebody else, and... Right. And I think too, like you said in the beginning, the, the original objection is not always what the real objection is. So asking some more questions, not, not taking like the, I'm busy, <laughs> everybody's busy. So, Hey, I understand. Like, I totally get it. You're busy. We're all busy. Let's still jump on the phone. Right. Um, so I think that made a huge difference. Absolutely. So basically, I guess all in all, like don't take no for an answer necessarily. Um, be willing to, even when you get that objection, uh, so so something I learned a long time ago is buyers are liars. So, and, and what do I mean by that? I mean, every person that is a buyer, which we're all buyers, they're gonna lie to you. They're gonna tell you, I'm busy, I don't have the money, I don't have this, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Like buyers are liars. It's, it's ingrained in us to tell somebody who's trying to sell us something that I can't, or I don't have this, or I don't have the money or whatever. So just remember buyers are liars and don't don't just take their their answer right off the bat. Like be willing to jump on the phone, be willing to jump on a video chat and dive a little bit deeper because their original excuse may not even be what's actually holding them back. And um, just dive deeper into their goals and you never know where it'll lead to. Yeah, and I think by providing value. You Always, know, yeah. The more you can talk to them and provide yes. more value, the better. Absolutely. So anyways, we hope this helped you guys. Um, but I just, we just wanted to... Share, Share that. Yeah. So, anyways. Yeah, that's awesome. it. All right. See you guys. Bye.